A long time ago, I made a video showcasing this. And for some reason, the actual video has been cut out on YouTube and it doesn't actually show the process anymore. Don't ask me how that happened because I have no idea. So here's an updated tutorial. The first thing that you will need for these is a Chrome extension called Go Full Page. Now don't worry, it's free and they don't collect your data. Well, at least that's what it says here. After you have that, click the extension and it will create a capture of the website page that you are on. Download the PNG and bring it into DaVinci. On DaVinci, the first thing you will need to do is increase the scale of the image until it covers the whole screen. We will be using the free plugin 3 d Rise to make the process 10 times quicker, so you can find it on the Swavi website. Now add it to the image and play around with the position controls. You can animate the floating screen however you want. In this case, we will use the X and Y rotation values. To make the website scroll, go to the video tab and create a keyframe for the position, go towards the end of the clip and then adjust the position. These next steps are optional. I like the way that it looks when a color border effect is added. So go to the effects tab and add it to your clip. Just make sure that this effect is on top of the 3 d rest plugin. Here you can adjust the different values until you get something that you like. The next effect that you can add is a drop shadow. Find it in the open effects section and then add it to your clip. Adjust the values in the inspector and your set. If you want to showcase a video of your website instead of an image, then just screen record your website scroll and then follow the same process without adding the keyframes for the position settings. That's it. So don't forget to find 3D Rise for free on Suave.com.